there. This is Heather from Heather Dubay Art. I wanted to show you today how to make these pretty little poppies and they're very simple. As you can see, it's just kind of a simple brush pen drawing and a little bit of watercolor and that's it. So today what I'm using is my brush pen. So this is a Pentel brush pen. And that's what I'll be using to draw or to, to paint the picture. That and this little water brush for the watercolors. This is actually a Pentel water brush. So it has a little, it, it's got the body filled with water. And then you can use it to paint, um, gather up your colors add some water to it and just paint. It's very simple and very fun. So come and paint with me. Okay, so as you can see, I've made some examples. I was kind of sketching out poppies, different styles. This is just in my sketchbook. And then this one I did on watercolor paper with the brush pen. So we will create it from scratch. Okay, I'm just gonna shake this brush pen up first. And sometimes I squeeze it so all the ink comes down. This is actually a soft brush, so you can see When you push it down, you can get thin, like thick lines if you push down hard and just using the tip, you can get really fine, pretty fine lines. Anyways, okay, so I'll show you how we can start this in the easiest way. I like to start at the bottom, just drawing a little, or painting the grass where the poppies are growing from. And that's pretty much all you need to do. So if you don't have a brush pen like this, you can use um, a paintbrush with black watercolor, or you can use a felt marker, um, preferably something that is waterproof. I believe this ink is waterproof to some degree, but you have to let it wait for a while. And even then, I'm not positive that it's waterproof. As you can see, I've, I don't know if you can see that, but there are some parts on this painting that the ink, the black ink kind of got smudged a little bit. I mean, I didn't wait very long before I painted it, but you know what? I kind of like the effect, so I'm going to go with it and I'm going to keep going with this brush pen. <laughs> okay, so now that I've drawn the grass, now we can start on little stalks of flowers and I'm just going to go one at a time. Do yours however you'd like, but that's how I'm doing mine. I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six of them. And now I'm going to make just a little, a few leaves. Coming off. Okay. Now there's a little bud over here. And, and I'm gonna be careful not to smudge this painting this time. <laughs> In the center of the poppy, you have this wonderful rich black color and then a little bit of yellow. So we'll leave a spot for the yellow. I'm just gonna put in these little striations in the plant. And we've got another little bud here. Um, and this one as well. Okay, this one is a flower, a fully opened poppy. It's kind of behind that leaf. Okay, 
And one last one, this one up here is going to be kind of from the lateral view, like the side view. So we want to draw one petal like that. And then the other petals kind of see from behind there. Oh, poppies are so pretty. And I'll still draw a little bit of that black center. There we go. So you can simplify it. Um, I mean, sorry, keep it simple like I did. Or you can go into more detail, maybe take a really fine liner and make some more striations. Um, just put some more details. Maybe you want to put more grass or a few more leaves, however you'd like. So I'm going to start. I'm going to actually, I'm going to let this dry just for a little bit and then I'll come back and watercolor it. Hi there. Okay. I actually used my hair blow dryer to speed up the drying process. So these are ready to go. They might still smudge um, when I, or, or smear when I use the watercolors, but I think the overall effect will be really pretty, even if that does happen. So I'm going to grab a little bit of Scarlet Lake. Another thing I forgot to mention is you might need is um, a little cloth to clean off your brush between colors. So that helps as well. Okay. So I'll start with a little puppy over here. And just keep going. I'm trying to paint rather quickly because I really like the results when you kind of just go quickly. See, you see this, the, the paint there in the brush pen is spreading a little. But I think it'll be really pretty. Just gonna grab some green. And paint the leaves. And if you want to add different, you know, a different uh color of green you can just to give it some depth on the leaves there you go and now I'm gonna do the um, grass down here I'm gonna spread this out I'm using some sap green and phthalo blue here Windsor and Newton watercolors And there you have it. So there is the poppy painting right in time for Remembrance Day. I hope you've enjoyed this little paint along with me tutorial and please join me next time. If you want to be notified, you can do that uh, through my channel, through the notification bell and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks so, so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, so I realized I forgot to put the yellow in the centers of the poppies. So that's the last step, actually. <laughs>